What's up everybody? Pursued Fire here today with another Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to be uh, learning how to create a custom item and be able to craft it and use it in the game. Alright, so to get started you're going to want to go ahead and go down to the description below and download these two files here that I created for you guys. One is a default data pack and the other is a default resource pack. These will have all the files and folders that you should need to uh, create your custom item. So once you have those downloaded, we're going to go ahead and start by creating the custom item first. So let's go ahead and right click and extract to uh, the default resource pack folder. And once you have that extracted and ready to go, we're going to go ahead and head back into Minecraft. And in the game, you're going to go ahead and open up your resource pack uh, menu here. And you're going to want to go ahead and click open pack folder. And once you have that up and open, you're going to want to go ahead and drag your default resource pack folder into your Minecraft resource pack folder. And now we're going to want to go ahead and head inside here, go into the assets folder, Minecraft, models, and in the item folder here, you are going to want to find whatever item you are going to want to base your custom item off of. So for me, I want to use the iron sword so once you find the file that you're going to want to base your custom item off of you want to go ahead and copy and paste it inside the same folder here and then you're going to want to rename it whatever your item name is so mine's going to be battle axe all right and now you're going to go ahead and find that file again so the original file that you based your item off of and we're going to go ahead and right click that and open it up in Visual Studio Code. And once you have that open up in Visual Studio Code, it should look something similar to this, just replaced with whatever base item you're using. So we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and go down to this first curly bracket here. We're gonna to wanna to do comma, then we're gonna to wanna to do quotation mark and type overrides. I'm gonna do a colon. We're gonna open and close some square brackets. Inside of those, we're going to want to open and close some curly brackets again. Open up some quotation marks. Type predicate. Colon. Open and close some more curly brackets. And here we're going to type custom, oops, sorry, quotation marks. And then custom underscore model underscore data. Then after the quotation mark, you want to do another colon. And then here, we're going to want to give it a unique ID. So this will just be any number you want to use. The higher, the better, because you don't want it to conflict with another data pack. Um, but for today, I'm just going to do 99. And after that, you're going to want to go ahead and do a comma, open and close some quotation marks. And in here, we're going to type model, colon, and then open and close some quotation marks. And in here, we're going to want to use create the path to our custom model so for us this is going to be minecraft colon item slash battle axe now whatever you type here is what the file is going to be named so make sure that it is all lowercase no spaces and you should be good to go all right, so that is it for this file here. So now we can go ahead and go back into our folder and find that battle axe file that we created earlier. All right, so right here. So now we can just go ahead and right click this one and open it up in Visual Studio Code. And once you have that open, it should look something similar to this right here. And very easy, all you're gonna do in here is replace this iron sword with whatever you called your item. So in my case, battle axe again. And that is it for this file. So now let's go ahead and create our custom model or our custom uh, item image. All right, so I went ahead and created this little custom battle axe item here uh, in Photoshop. So once you have your item created, you just wanna make sure that you save it. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and save the little texture that you created for your item inside your resource pack, assets, Minecraft, textures, item. And you want to go ahead and name it whatever you named it inside of Visual Studio Code. So yet again, mine is Battle Axe. And you want to make sure that there's no capital letters, no spaces, and make sure you're saving it as a PNG file. 
So once you have your custom item saved and all that and all those files created, you can go ahead and hop back inside of Minecraft here and to test it out, we're going to first want to make sure that we have our resource pack selected here. So boom, just make sure that it is indeed selected and active. And then in the game, you're going to go ahead and type out in the console slash give at s Minecraft, whatever you... Uh, whatever item you base yours off of. So mine is the iron sword. Open and close some curly brackets. And then here you're gonna do capital C, custom, capital M, model, capital D, data, colon, and then whatever that unique ID that you created in the Visual Studio Code file, which mine was 99. Now if we hit enter, we should see our item pop up. All right, so I got this uh, default texture here. So that must mean that I must have done something wrong in the code. So let's go ahead and dive back in and find the mistake I made. All right, so some of you may have caught it already. It was actually in our iron sword.json file and I just misspelled model here. So we're gonna wanna fix that, M-O-D-E-L. <laughs> and now if we hop back into the game, And we're going to want to reload our texture pack. And there we go. So now that is fixed. So make sure that you double check, make sure all your spelling is correct. And if you have any mistakes like that, it's usually just the issue within the code. But as you can see, we have our custom item here, but it is not very special. It still says iron sword as your basic iron sword damages all the values. So let's go ahead and make it a little more unique and create the custom values for it. All right, so to do that, we're gonna go ahead and dive into our data pack folder here. So let's go ahead and right click and extract it just like we did our resource pack. And once you have that extracted out, you're gonna go ahead and go into your .minecraft folder, into your saves folder, whatever you're using to test, whatever save you're using right now to test it out. Open up the data packs folder there and we're gonna click and drag it into that folder. And now if we go back inside of Visual Studio Code, we should be able to open that folder. So go ahead and go to file, open folder, and you're gonna to go to your .minecraft folder again, open up your saves, go to your world, up data packs and then we're going to want to go ahead and open up that default data pack folder all right so as you can see i got everything that you will need here we got a resource uh, a recipe folder and the advancement folder as well as our function folder here all right so now that you have your data pack all set up you're going to go ahead and click the first link in the description below and that will take you to this website here which is a very handy website that helps you create custom recipes so as you can see up here you can use a crafting table, furnace, any of those uh, functional blocks there. And if we scroll down, we're gonna wanna go ahead and do exactly where we placed, because we are doing a shaped recipe here. Uh, you can also use the two by two grid, or you can make it shapeless, whatever you like there. And then down here, the output recipe, let's just rename this to battle axe underscore recipe. All right, so now let's go ahead and build out our recipe. So for my, in my case, I'm gonna wanna use a stick. We're gonna do boom, boom, and then some iron. Put that here, there, and there. All right, and then for the output, you're gonna wanna look up the knowledge book. So now this is just something that isn't actually in the game that you can't use. Um, so it's perfect for using our custom recipes. So we're gonna go ahead and drag that over into our output section there. Now if we scroll down, we should have our uh, code all ready for us here. So go ahead and copy that. And now back inside our, res our data pack here, we're gonna wanna go to Minecraft folder here, recipes, right click and hit new file. And you're gonna name this whatever your item is. So my case is battle axe, and we're gonna do underscore recipe dot json you got to make sure you put that dot json at the end there or it will not work okay so inside here we're going to go ahead and paste that code that we copied from the website and that's it for the recipe so now let's go back and head to the second link in the description 
All right, so that link should take you to this website here, which is another handy tool. Uh, so this allows us to create custom advancements, and this is how we're actually gonna trigger our function that is gonna give us our custom item. So first thing we're gonna do here is click Add Child. And now here, we're gonna wanna go ahead and go to Display, and we're gonna wanna click this Utility button there. That just makes it so that it doesn't actually pop up in the game. Now let's go to Criteria. We're gonna wanna hit the plus sign here, and we're gonna look for Recipe Unlocked, which is right here. So Recipe Unlocked, Criteria Name, just call it whatever you want, I'm just gonna call it Battle Axe. So down here in the recipe, we're gonna to wanna to type out Minecraft, colon, Battle Axe, underscore recipe. This is that file that we just created inside of Visual Studio. All right, so down in the reward section here, we're gonna to go down to the function area the function field and we're going to want to type out the name that we're of the function that we're about to create inside of our data pack. So in my case it's going to be tutorial colon give underscore battle axe. So now this first section here is going to be whatever your pack your data pack is called. So I'll go into more detail on that inside of our data pack folder. But that should be it for this. So now we're going to want to go ahead and scroll up to the top here and click View JSON. And then we're going to go ahead and copy this and head back inside of Visual Studio Code. And now we're going to want to go down to Advancements, right click, New File. And then we're going to call this Battle Axe underscore advancement dot JSON. And we're going to go ahead and paste that code inside of here. All right, so very quick, as I mentioned inside the advancement uh, website there, this needs to be called whatever your data pack is called. So to fix that, you're going to go to where it says your pack name here, and you're going to right click, rename, and then type out whatever your pack is going to be called. So mine's just going to be called tutorial. And then you're going to want to go ahead and go into the Minecraft folder up here, go down to Tags, open that up into Functions, and you're going to go ahead and click on your load.json and rename this to your pack name, as well as the tick function here, rename it there as well. And now you should be all ready to go. So now we're going to want to go ahead and go down to our Functions folder here, and we're going to create that give function that we were talking about earlier. All right, so you're going to go ahead and right click, hit new file, and call it whatever you called your function inside of the advancement website. So mine was give underscore battle axe dot mc function. That's important there. So that, that tells Minecraft that this is indeed a function. All right, so inside of our give function, we are going to first want to take back that recipe that we uh created that we just unlocked here. So we're going to do recipe take at s and then you're going to look for your recipe. So mine was battle axe underscore recipe. And the next line of code is going to be revoking the advancement that we just gave. So we're going to go type out advancement revoke at s only then whatever our pack name is called. So tutorial colon battle axe underscore recipe. So what this does is this just takes back that advancement so that we can actually reuse this item multiple times. And the next thing we're going to do is actually remove that knowledge book from the player's inventory. So we're going to go ahead and type out clear at s uh, knowledge book. And that'll just take that out of the, the inventory so the player won't actually have that clogging up their inventory. All right, so this is the fun part here. Now we're going to actually create the give command that will give us our custom item with whatever custom values we want on it. So you're going to go ahead and head to the third link in the description below. All right, so this will take you to mcstacker.net, which is a handy website to have. Uh, just let you easily create your commands uh, without having to actually type it all out. So for us, we're going to want to go ahead and do the slash give. And we're going to want to change it to sp uh, the entity executing the command. So that'll be the player. And now we're going to go ahead and go down to the bottom here where it says give item. 
and select our item, which is going to be your base item. So in my case is the iron sword. All right. So once you have your item selected here, you can go ahead and give it a custom name. So mine will be battle axe. And you can set custom colors or do whatever you want. So let's go ahead and just make it green, make it bold. And you can just go crazy here, have some fun with it. For the damage, let's just give it a random five. That'll work for me. And now importantly here, we have our custom model data. We're going to want to type out the name or the number that we use for our unique ID. So in my case is 99. And then you can also give it custom tags, whatever, enchantments. So... For me, let's go ahead and give it a knockback level 70. Let's just send these these guys to the moon. All right, so once you have your everything filled out here that you want to, you can go up to the little console here and copy all the way to the give. You don't want to include this slash here because it doesn't need it inside of Visual Studio Code. So now you can go back into your file and paste that uh, command right in. And that should be everything. Everything should be working perfectly now. So let's go ahead and test it out. All right. So back inside the game here, first thing you want to do is type slash reload to reload your data pack here. And this just applies all the changes that we made inside of Visual Studio Code into the game itself. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and give ourselves the items for our recipe here. So mine was a stick and iron ingots. All right, so now that we have our items here, let's go ahead and place them in the shape of our recipe. So like that, now we get the knowledge book. So unfortunately, as far as I know, there's no way to edit this to make this any different. It has to look like the knowledge book and says knowledge book on it. There may be a way, but to my knowledge, there's not. But either way, if we click this, boom, we get our battle axe. And now our custom... Uh, function there should have revoked and taken back the recipe so we should be able to go ahead and create it again boom just like that and now you can create it as many times as you want and if we set it to nighttime and go ahead and find some mobs we should be able to knock these guys into outer space all right so there you go so we have our custom item in the game it is named Battle Axe. It has our custom values, the custom enchantments. Uh, that is everything. So now you should be able to create whatever you want. So go crazy and have fun with it. Okay, so at the end here, I just want to add a few quick tips um, to maybe help with any issues you guys run into. So if you are able to craft your recipe, click it, and you get the Battle Axe the first time, but you click it again and you only get the Knowledge Book, you may need to manually revoke and take back the recipe at the beginning. Now, this won't happen if you put it into a new save folder or anything like that. This is just in your test world. So you just want to go ahead and manually type out your two take and revoke commands here. So we want to take the battle axe recipe. If it says no recipes could be forgotten, you're good. That worked. Uh, and then we're also going to go ahead and do the advancement revoke. All right. So if you just type those two commands in, um, that should solve your issue and you should be able to craft it as many times as you want again. And just another quick suggestion I would give you guys is to go ahead and delete anything out of your resource pack that you do not need. So everything other than your texture and your, uh, model uh, model JSON file. So the original item and your custom item, go ahead and delete those out. This will just make it more compatible with other resource packs and allow players to customize it how they want. But that is it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe for more tutorials and more content. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.